Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on your hand magic cast by Corypheus? Yes. Corypheus claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. Doesn't still might be his, his uh, the Maker's will, though. But she's not, she doesn't believe in the Maker. I know. Perhaps the Maker set these events in motion so long ago we can no longer see his hand in them. It would be fitting if that were true. Does it hurt? The anchor, that is. I'll cope. Yeah, <laughs> right? I'll be fine. I'm what? Just, I don't understand. It's so painful, if only... Just, yeah, just say it. I want to see what she says. Only when I laugh. <laughs> Very good, Inquisitor. A situation requires your attention, Inquisitor. Noble Chantry loyalists in the city of Jader are spreading accusations that you're responsible for the Divine's death. They're unusually organized. I recommend we send people to Jader to deal with the matter. Let's send some dipl diplomats. Yeah. Oh, wait, investigate. Will anyone even believe me if I claim I didn't kill the Divine? Perhaps if they learn about your heroics. We should emphasize how you stopped the breach devouring the sky. Even in Jader, it may win you a few admirers. <laughs> what does the nobility gain by saying I murdered Justinia? A scapegoat to begin with, but I wonder if the Grand Clerics are at work. Those immediately eligible to be divine died at the Conclave. The ones remaining were not as favored. They may look upon you as a rival for influence. Let's send some diplomats. Yeah, let's not go crazy. Let's send some ambassadors to convince Jada I'm not a monster in disguise. Excellent. I believe there is much to be gained by winning them over. We've an interesting development, Inquisitor. A petition from citizens of Val Royale. They wish to know what Andraste said to you in the Fade. Nope. They think she spoke to me. Even Leliana can't trace the rumor's origin. Oh boy. It may be expedient to respond to those asking for Andraste's words. I, I, uh, nope, that's not. Uh, uh, but I never saw Andraste. Tell them it wasn't Andraste or I never saw. Oh, this is okay. Yeah, this is a question. It's not Andraste who saved me. Few people outside Skyhold know it was Divine Justinia who delivered you from the Fade. You could attempt to tell Van Royal citizens the truth, though it may not be as inspiring as they hope. I don't want to lie. No. Tell them the Inquisition's position is that the Divine saved me from the Fade, not Andraste. Very well. Some of the devout will be discouraged, but it will placate the Chantry. It doesn't seem right to lie. No. Like, I can't do that. Yes? How are you so polite, girl? How do you stay so civil with everyone, Josephine? Bonds of circumstance among the nobility are fickle. Civility is the only constant everyone admires. And I do deplore rudeness in those who know better. Hmm. Hmm. Does it even become a strain sometimes? Well, it can be trying. There is no shortage of self-regard among the nobility. The game can be wearying, discouraging, and extremely baneful. But honestly, I'd miss meeting people. I've made the most fascinating friends. I've liked meeting you guys. One good thing about becoming Inquisitor has been meeting so many different people. I'm pleased. I imagine we appear a strange bunch to those outside our circle. Mages, Templars, Seekers, and an apostate elf are not often found working in harmony. Or at all. What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Yeah! yeah. Whoop whoop! Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Van Weigard of Ferenden is visiting. An honor, to be sure. Please show no alarm if you hear shouting in his quarters at night. Shouting? His lordship spent a half a year with his lands under siege by Darkspawn during the Ferelden Blight. Oh. His wife informs me the band still sleeps rather... Oh. ...poorly. Hmm. That's the end. It's good to see you. What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Any thoughts on the people here? Who did you mean? 
<laughs> but her roguish friends. Sarah. Uh, Sarah. I'd love to know how you and Sarah get along. I know she extracts gossip from the servants, and she keeps prying into things. Sarah's ability to vanish whenever her mischief's discovered must come in handy, however, I'm sure. <laughs> I was thinking of Varric. Oh, I could listen to his tales for hours. He actually let me read a chapter of his next book he's writing. Oh, my friends would be sick with envy if they knew. It's excellent, but a bit different from his past works. Only three beheadings so far. Everybody just loves Varric's books. I think he's like really popular with the with the ladies. I bet he's like a total. He's like a, what was her name? Stephanie Meyer, who wrote Twilight. Yeah. And like, so all the girls are like, hey, 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 oh my god, the books! They're amazing. I think it's a little different because Aveline was on the front, so it was probably like. Aveline does everybody, and then she no, kills everybody. No, I know it's. I know it's like. No, Not the same, I know the yeah. books. The books themselves are different, but I think like the level of fame and type of fame are yes. very similar. Yes, this very like fulfilled fantasy kind of book. Yes, yeah, exactly. Cole, actually. Who? Oh wait, you mean the quiet young man? <sighs> How strange. I'm sure we must have talked, yet I can't recall what we discussed. That's weird. Oh, Cole. What do you think of Cullen? Yeah. Commander Cullen came to mind. Of course The he did. commander is an intelligent, cautious man. I'm grateful he's in charge of our sending army. Still, he does sometimes resemble the man with a hammer to whom everything appears as a nail. <laughs> <laughs> kind of true. In Haven, when everything was going to shit, he's like, all right, all we need to do now is decide how we're going to kill ourselves. And we're like, hold on a second. Wait, what? <laughs> he wanted to kill everybody to, like, win or something? I was like, wait a second. What do you think of Sir Blackwall? Sir Blackwall seems as loyal to the purpose of the Inquisition as he is to the Wardens. His hmm. travels must have taken him strange places. I wish he'd speak more about them. By the way, Sir S E R means knight. Ah, and That's Sir what... means Mister S I R. Yeah, but S E R means knight or like warrior, so that's why it can go for men or women. I get it now. The Iron Bull has had to have made an impression. He is a loud, unapologetic accident merely waiting to happen. I do wish he'd stop daring poor dignitaries to outdrink him. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just imagine he's getting everybody like wasted? And you be like be like, ah, stop being such a pussy. Get over here and have another drink. And they're like passed out on the floor. <laughs> Wake up so you can drink. <laughs> I was thinking of Cassandra. Seeker Pentagast is a princess of the Kingdom of Nevada, although that barely seems important to her. She was not interested when I asked if we might make use of her royal relations. Still, the Inquisition would not have formed without Cassandra. She's an extraordinarily driven woman. I just realized that Cassandra's a warrior princess. Yeah. Whoops. That's the best. What's your impression of Solus? I suppose I should be wary of an apostate, but our elven mage has conducted himself with the utmost propriety. And he has the most fascinating stories. What do you think of Vivienne? She's a bitch. We've met a few times before oh. at court. <laughs> she remains a truly accomplished player of the game. So long as her interests align with yours, Madame Vivienne will be a most valuable ally. But she Just won't sleep with me. Why? Her on your good side, Inquisitor. Because she's already with somebody. I know. You must have saying. an opinion of Dorian. Who hasn't? Why won't she? The man on could cause me? a scene standing quietly in the center of an empty room. Still, I do believe he has your best interests at heart, for all that he delights in mocking them from time to time. Well, this was fun. Okay, bye. We'll speak later. Another time. Thanks, Ruffles. Oh, so anyways, the reason that I wanted to say to her that it could still be the maker is that... It's just the nice thing to say? I think that, well, it's kind of like when people are like, oh, God, like... God bless you, or like I'm praying for you, and you Instead, don't like yell at them. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't sit there and be like, "Oh, I don't believe, sorry," or like, "I don't care." You would just be like, "Thank you, I really appreciate that." Yes, you know of what course. I mean. Yeah. 
because you know that they mean it in like the best possible sense. Like you speak to people in terms that they're going to understand or that they're going to relate to. I have 179 power, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> Where's that thing that he wanted? That's over here. I still remember the beginning of the game when we had to save up to get like eight. <laughs> we were like, oh, we can't do this right now. We only have one power. He just asked me to please go see him. We gotta go. He said, please. He said, please. Oh, okay. Please come see me when you have time. Okay. All right. We'll do it now. What could this mean? Does it mean sex? Does it mean sexy times? Hey, I've been leveling up. Does that mean I can sex? Does that mean I can use these for sex points? <laughs> so... Can I spec into sex? <laughs> Hello, I'm a level seven sex mage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a level seven sexy pants. <laughs> and I'm here to slay your demons. Okay, that's... We're getting into the weird place again. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Slay your sexual demons. Oh, boy. That's some crazy role-playing. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been reading the letters found in the quarry. Samson is making red lyrium from people. Oh, yeah, we saw that in the Not future. anymore. Not in that mine. I knew Samson had fallen, but this, it's monstrous. We have to put an end to him. He's dead. Look at these orders from the encampment. That armor must give Samson extraordinary power. We may not be able to stop him. Take away his armor and the lyrium, and Samson's just another man. But I couldn't say how. Templars are trained not to destroy expensive magical equipment. Perhaps Dagna has some ideas. She crafts the impossible every day. Dagna, what have you learned of Samson? He should be dead. I mean, you could make a hat out of red lyrium and kill people, especially the wearer. Samson's armor is genius. To do all this and not go insane, it must he be is insane. insane. Or he is insane. Or both. Thank you. Yep. Both is, yeah. You're not comforting me, Dagna. He's dangerous either way. Oh, fine. I just need time and tools, people, and red lyrium. For tests, you see? Is that right? People. Wise? Everything is safe if handled properly. And you don't touch it long, or breathe it. I mentioned the hat, right? <laughs> no hat. Time and resources, Inquisitor. I'll get what you want. No shoe. I've work to do. Shoe. Mind your step for things, Inquisitor. This little dwarf is telling me to shoe. Go away, go away. Go away, silly elf. I have work to do. Now give me some people in red lyrium. Definitely not going to do what he was doing. Anyway, definitely, bye. Definitely not going to make a hat, though. No hats. No hats allowed. Don't tell her about the hat. <laughs> it's like the mad hatter over here. Some elves in Uthenera were able to reach perfection and draw sustenance from the Fade rather than dying in their sleep. It is possible that some live and retain some amount of control over the world of dreams. Elves in Uthenera were tended by servants to prevent discomfort from waking them, and who bathed them in scented oils to provide them the spark of wisdom on their journey. Sacred herbs were thrown into an eternal fire in the sleeping chambers of the dreamers to guide them from the, to guide them to the beyond. An elf who had perfected themselves no longer required the potion of water, honey, and herbs used to keep mages alive during Uthenera. Such elves were moved into beds of pure white, signifying their achievement. 